Hello YouTube, Senior 500 here, and today I'm doing a video on a phone. Uh, you might notice that this is a Galaxy S5, and not a new phone, quite an old, I wouldn't say quite an old phone, it's only a couple of years old. So instead of being, a hey, look, cool new unboxing, this is actually, it's showing you how this thing has actually held up after two years. Now, if you watch previous videos, you might be wondering, but you didn't have this phone for two years, and that is correct. I have been using an Xperia Z3 or Z3 for anybody outside of the US. But sadly, that thing broke. I loved it, I'd really like to have it back, but it broke. Um, nothing actually major, the actual touchscreen itself uh, went out in a band across the screen right about there. Um, and I went to T-Mobile and I said, hey, this is broken. Uh, I only had till October to until I had the phone paid off, which I am sad about because no longer uh, will I have it. Um, and they were like, well, you know what? Uh, we, will, we will get you a place phone because you're on a warranty. And when I checked the text, they said, it's a Galaxy S5 because they ran out of Xperia's and are not making them anymore. Now, I got this as, because it is the closest replacement that they had to the Z3. Now, spec-wise, it is pretty, pretty close. It has the same 2.5 GHz Snapdragon 801 processor. It's got a 5.1 1080p screen, unlike the 5.2 of the Z3. Water IP67, so the 68 waterproofing, but difference-wise, very net, uh, negligible. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And battery life, mm, the battery of course it, it is definitely small. I do not have that exact spec. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I might be able to get out. Just Google it here. Has it worked the same? And that answer is no. And I'll tell you why. Because one key difference they had, the Xperia came with three gigs of RAM instead of the the Galaxy's two. Now you'll be thinking, it's a 1 gig of RAM, well, that's actually quite a lot. One number difference makes a huge internal difference, and I'll tell you why. So, when this thing came out, it was top of the line, and for a 2000, this is 16, so 2014, 13 smartphone, it was, in a big way. But... Sadly, 2 gig of RAM, and this is 16 gigabytes versus the 32 of the Xperia, does not hold up anymore. While Samsung, I will, so I will say a couple good things about this phone. A, Samsung, you're doing a great job about updating. This thing does have, does one marshmallow, unlike uh, the T-Mobile Z3, still only on Lollipop. And uh, last time I checked, it was just 5.0 Lollipop, not 5.1. Um, it still handles well, it's still a great phone, but... Let's start diving into some settings now. First up, it's got touch rays, which you either like or hate it. I'm really not a fan of it at all. But just really using it smoothly, it runs just fine. It really does. Um, these are regular phones. Speeds are great. It does a little download booster, which works on and off if you're using over 30 megs, which was a uh, Timo and Adobe Sprint exclusive uh, Wi-Fi calling and all. So. Touch rays, it's still a good operating system. Uh, when I got it, it came with Lollipop, so I mean, personally, could have left it there. Marshmallow, of course, isn't uh, too heavy of an operating system to begin with, especially with, uh, as, uh, as Project Butter has been increasing. But as I learned with this, is so it turns out my experience I had 88,000 text messages, and besides taking five hours, uh, five plus hours to actually load them, the messaging app didn't work. So basically today, and even still, it's having trouble. Now, the Xperia breezed through it, and yes, I know, um, I, I will say the Xperia did get slower at times, but if, or it would freeze up while I'm receiving a text message if I'm sending another one, but that wasn't a big problem. Not like this, that it wouldn't even let me open it. Or it will continue to send and, say, and still say it is sending. Now, I can't show you that for privacy reasons. I cleared 94, I will say 96 conversations down to now 40, and this messaging app is still slow. That 2 gig of RAM, 
can't handle it, sadly. As well as performance-wise, I tried, I tried some gaming on it. Really, to, by today's standards, is so poor. If you're looking for this, and if you're looking for this as a first phone for your kids or whatnot, it's actually still pretty good because to them, they probably will not be using it for at least the amount of texting that I've done or things like that. Um, probably just for gaming, which is, I mean, it, it will run games. I will say that a little bit laggy at times, depending on what you're doing um, for those games. And it is, and it's, it is a cheaper option from, compared to the newer Samsung phones. However, if you're going to go get, I'll go get some maybe like the uh, K10. Um, LG's option, which uh, sim uh, actually is quick one now. While the different phones is still can probably you can consider a low a mid range flagship, and that's about a low to mid range phone that is cheaper and probably will run better. Uh, now, I would expect this thing to be better. I have heard reports of twenty thousand text messages after is when it slows down. Now, people now of course that was like obvious option just delete it and yeah I could do that I could do that but some of these things I want to keep between people sadly now um, uh, I do want to keep them so I can't just delete that now I know that is a lot of text messages of course that's been the life of through the Xperia and past phones after that I think from a Galaxy S3 so that's two to three years worth of text messages yeah I know I should probably delete them after that but sorry I, I like talking with friends um, I will say nothing about now the camera. This camera, it's got its 12 megapixel sensor here. Oh no, sorry, 16 megapixel sensor. Is not that good by today's sensors. By today's sensor, so the S6 and the S7 actually will blow this thing out of the water. A, don't even see a flash setting. Not even in the actual camera settings. You have low light detection, which really does nothing. Uh, I tried testing that last night. Yeah, I shall bring you up a photo. Of it last night in low light, that's not that bad. Here's one when I tried to take it, and then the phone just messed up there. Uh, other than that, I mean, look, I mean, camera isn't terrible, but I do find it's washed out. And then the front selfie camera tends to have a little bit of um, it's actually very like right angle, and it might, it might be right angle ends. And if it is, then I'm sorry for commenting on it, but I will say. So this phone, when it came out, was really just to say, hey, look, all these tips and tricks. Airview is not that useful anymore, and it kind of gets annoying. And that fingerprint sensor is not even worth turning it on, because you have to swipe it. And to pick up a phone and do that is actually just quite annoying, especially doing it with one hand. It usually requires two, unlike most other phones, fingerprint sensors just tap and go. So we're, this was really made to compete with the iPhone when it came out, and that's what it did, and it did that well for a while. It's like, oh, look, all these gimmicks are waterproof, blah, 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 until, the, until it got upgraded. So well, this was definitely the turn of um, the turn of technology. This was the last model before all the new stuff came out. but. Can it hold up to today's standards? My thing is no. This is I'm sorry for this being a long video and it's kind of just a rant, but I'm saying, guys, especially with this many text messages, I would not get that as an upgrade. If you can if you end up getting a replacement, well, it's usable, don't get me wrong, it is definitely usable, but I would not use it for long. Definitely worth just upgrading if something happens and this ends up being a replacement for. If you have one and still using it, good for you, that's great. Like you started out with it, so you would know. But I'm sorry, Samsung. You kind of disappoint me here. And that's all I've got to say. Please like, subscribe, and favorite. Um, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this. Hope this is some. Hope this shed some light on it. Bye.